Well, it's November, which means it's officially Christmas time, officially Christmas time. They've had a Christmas aisle in Tesco's, my local supermarket, since August, August? Yes, August. But with Christmas, it means we get to unbox another thing calendar. And I've let you choose this one. I'm so excited. Dun, dun. Um, um, you've not really understood this, have you? But we've got hats on. We've, it's you've, a countdown. You've got, it's, it's, it's horror, it's Halloween. It's a countdown. Countdown calendar. Brief was Christmas. I think it's Christmassy. How could you say no to this? That's the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. 13 day countdown calendar. So we're only going to get 13 things in here. Yeah, we did Disney one and I was a bit disappointed. So when I saw the Simpsons and we're big Simpsons fans in this house. Uh, you, yeah, I'm not. I don't like it. I'm not hide them. Look at that. That is awesome. How could you say to that? That is, that is, that, okay, that is pretty cool. That is the Springfield Cemetery with 13 pocket-sized Funko Pops. Yep. Pocket-sized. And we got this off Amazon. And how much did it cost? Um, 35 pounds. It was, it was 40 actually. I saw the, I saw the order. Oh. 35 pounds <laughs> delivered. <laughs> <laughs> all right so shall we see what we get in this let's let's open this up you can go for number one i guess you can go for number one you should open any of them yeah I, I am opening no, them i'm i know i'm opening several you don't want so why should you get to open any go on in you go into number one i'm, go I'm going i'm just making sure i don't ruin this box oh no we didn't bring scissors again Ah, uh, you'd think we'd learn bart simpson as an ant that's pretty damn cool, actually. Okay, Funko, we're off to a great start here. I will say that. Yeah. I really like that. I'm going in. I'm going in. Look, I've popped the box, go pulled it open, and I've got the bag. <laughs> okay. So cute. That is Homer Simpson as the Grim Reaper. Look at that. That's that so that is awesome. Cool. They are doing a great. They, they're doing a good job. Okay. This isn't the Simpsons doing a good job because these aren't actually representations of what Simpsons characters really look like. This is Funko doing a good job. Whereas I think on the Disney one, they, they kind of run out of ideas. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Okay, I get number three. Considering you now get all of the odd numbers, it means you get more than me anyway, so. Oh, look, number 13 looks bigger. I still don't think for 40 quid, it's a full size pop. I'm already a little bit disappointed in the pricing. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. Is that Marge Simpson in a skeleton costume? Check out Marge in a skeleton costume. Ooh. Her face looks really weird. Stand. There she be. It's Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson. Do I get to open another one? No, I don't think so. No, don't do not do that to the box. It's a box. Number four. It's Lisa. Oh, she's so cute. She's got tail and wings and everything. And then... Look at a little tower wings. And they so cute. Now we're just missing Maggie. Yeah, then we've got the whole family. Number five. Mumbo, number five. Ba -ba. One, two, three, four, five. You get copyright if you do that. It is. Oh, she's so cute. Is that Maggie? Well, this is my favourite one yet. Number six is all yours. Is it? All right, here we go. Number six. Now we've got the Simpsons family done it. What do you think it is? It's probably going to be the Simpsons again. I don't know. It's Homer as Godzilla <laughs> as he goes stomping around the city. Ooh. Rawr. That's awesome. He is well cute. He is well cute. I will give him that. There you go, Homer. Okay. I think you should just let me do all of them. Number seven. Uh, oh my gosh. Is that Ned Flanders? It's Ned Flanders. Uh, uh, the episode where he's Satan. Yes. It's always the ones you least suspect. There he is, look. Ned Flanders is Satan. I mean, that is so cool. The design on these guys is really, really good. 
they have taken care with how they've made these look. And whilst I still don't really like the price being charged for these pocket well, pop calendars, that well, that too, but the price I really don't, I, I don't like the price that they charge for these pocket pop calendars. We did get these on Amazon though. Yeah, but we so. even looked at getting them directly from Funko and with shipping, it was exactly the same price. Yeah. Uh, £35 on Funko, but plus delivery. I just don't think they're worth the money for what you're getting. Yeah, you're getting a nice box. We can show you a nice display piece at the end, but I, I, I don't know. I don't. Let us know down in the comments. Do you think they're reasonably priced? I mean, if you're in America, this is fifty, fifty-five dollars. Is that worth that to you? I mean, hopefully near it's Christmas, they might go down in price. Well, this isn't a Christmas calendar. I beg to differ. We've got, we've got another Bart. We've got a Bart as a zombie this time. Oh there he is. Look, I don't know if you guys can see him with that. But there he is. That is creepy. Zombart. Zombart, we'll call him. He's got his little skateboard. Yeah. That's... Oh. oh. But if you see what I mean, looking at this, this angle here, they've taken their time, they've taken their care to really design these. Yeah. But still. I think £25 would be reasonable it feels really weird as well he's got a really weird texture i mean that's number eight number eight i mean we're already on eight of 13. i'm doing number nine she's doing number nine what's it gonna be what's it gonna be open up the bag and see what it will be oh oh it's crusty oh as a vampire i have a new favorite i have a new favorite so cute. that is i, I mean maybe Maybe not cute. I don't think cute's the right word. I'm keeping that one. I think Dexter might disagree. He's not going to be able to disagree. I think Dexter's actually going to nick all of them. Number 10. So we're getting, we're getting to the end of this already. I've only... It's, it's, on, a, it's on a stick. <gasps> oh my god. Is that like... It's, it's on a little... Is stick it, it's it sort of wobbly she matches little maggie there's now two witches but well, then they best go together hadn't they gotta be very careful though is that the right place it's not glued very well i don't think that's the right place no there's maggie there you go mother mother Her and daughter and daughter ready to go witching together <laughs> Number 11, guys. Number 11. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is Lisa as a snail. Jesus Christ. Look at this. That's Lisa Simpson as a snail. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, there's not much really that can be said about that. It's, it's, it's Lisa Simpson as a snail. Can't really say much. The eyes are brilliant. Oh. And with that, I am already on to my last one. See, this is why I... I'm, I'm going to moan a bit more about the price point. He's cute, he moans about the price a lot. Because I, I just think these could well be a rip-off. I'm just saying. I really wanted the Lego Disney I don't wonder, but they're done as... Mini dolls. Yeah, dolls. They're not mini figures. It's another Magaggy. It's Maggie as Kang and Kodos' kid. Look at that. I have a new favourite. It is Maggie as the She's daughter. She's even got like a little rattle, a bottle, a teddy bear. She's got her tentacles. That is so cool. If you look at the size of this in the comparison to my hand as well. The They're not itty bitty. But they are pretty small. She is so cute. And she's added to the line. And we are already on to the final I, one. I, I think I made a great decision. Okay, this is double doors <laughs> on number 30. Is there just two in there? Oh, we get one each. No. Yep. Oh. Yep, there's 14 in there. They lied. They lied. There's 14. Maybe they're matching. I know what they are. It's Kang and Kodos. I'm really happy that they're the final ones and they came as a pair. And they're really well made, these. Like, the helmets are really well made. See, that's a really cool backdrop. It is. I think they've really thought about this. So I like the fact that the flaps also have all the characters from the Treehouse of Horrors on. I think that really adds to the box as well. They've taken a lot of care with this thing and with the products that that come with it. 
but I'm just not sold on the price point of these. And you might think differently to me. You might think differently to me. You might think this is worth the £40 or £35 plus £5 shipping, which is also £40 from Funko Pop, $50 if you're in the States. But I just think this is more of a £20 product. I think my opinion is if you have a strong love for something in particular, this is fantastic. And I know a lot of people collect Funko Pops, so these are called Pocket Pops. I really, really like it. Yeah, but it. do you think it's worth the money? Uh, I think... I think £25 would be a good price for these, personally. And this is only a 13-day count as well. Advent calendar that we did, the Disney one, was 24. But they did just repeat them. Yeah, they did. I'm very sad by that. There are no repeats in here. There are some repeat characters, like mm. you got some people twice, but they are very different. Whereas in the... In the Disney advent calendar. They turned them blue. They just changed the colour and gave you the exact same figure and the exact same pose. Yeah. Which was, I, like you said in the video, a cop out. I think even, I would go so far as to say a rip off. A rip off. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about these is they show you the characters on the box. Um, so you know what you're getting before you open the box. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. I think that ruins the element of the surprise. Maybe put like one or two on the box. Well, I mean, they're not marketing it at all as a surprise. I mean, look, they just says Tris Simpson's Treehouse of Horrors 13 day countdown calendar. And what they are saying, I mean, just to counter your point, is that they are saying you are getting these things on these days rather than this is a surprise. I mean, when Funko do the mystery minis, oh, yeah. surprise. You don't know what you're going to get in that box, but you know you're getting these things in this box. The element of surprise is when you're going to get them, I guess. These are going to be stolen by Dexter. Yeah, they are. They are. They're going to be stolen by our son. I mean, I will say Chrissy has managed to keep all of the Disney ones. They are up on a shelf in our bedroom. Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> She's managed to keep them all. I'm going to try and keep these ones too, but... Not happening. Dexter will still... Not happening. He is obsessed with The Simpsons. So hopefully we can get some more of these because I've really enjoyed opening these. And I also love opening mystery minis. She, she does. Those. Well, the only problem with continuing to do these is, of course, budget. And with that, if you subscribe to the channel, click the like button, uh, share the video if you'd like. It's free for you and it really helps for us. and means we can do more like this. Help us grow our channel. Yes, please. We would really appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to see more openings, theme parks, travel, hotels, movie reviews occasionally, live streams, we're going to do it all and we're going to have fun doing it. So with that, me Merry Christmas. It is Christmas. I got to choose this one. Thank you for watching and we'll speak to you again in the next one. Bye for now.